gentlemen, let's welcome Los Angeles Ice Theater. Um, I'm about 45 minutes away. That's in Burbank, so it takes about 45 minutes to get to Burbank from here. But with rush hour, it takes about like an hour and a half, two hours. Outside of skating, I am a professional makeup artist and I teach makeup classes at JLS Makeup School and I'm getting my real estate license. On the swing roll. Yeah, I feel you should be in front because you naturally want to go there. So if she leads, then you could go easily in front of that, right? Yeah. They just have to be a straight line. It was hideous. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This isn't for you. She'll, she'll eat a banana. I, I caught her eating a banana. It's definitely hard when with skating. Just it would have been friends invite you somewhere and you say, sorry, I can't. I have skating. It's pretty much how you, it goes. Oh, you did it eventually. So how far is school from here? Uh, school's like, online, okay. so not very far. Um, I was like two minutes away. Okay, well okay I know you thing. want your banana. What? Hey, good morning. Hey, are you ready to train today? Yeah. <laughs> um, Mondays are pretty relaxed. We don't go to LA on Mondays. It's usually, I'll go skate down in Escondido. Uh, then Tuesdays, we wake up early skating in LA. Let's talk about So I have, I skate for two hours, I have a lesson with Alex, then I have a uh, ballet with Galena for an hour. Then I have my lessons with Michael, working on stuff for getting ready for shows, um, learning new tricks and stuff like that. Maddie is, um, you know, it's it's wonderful. Just has a special quality. She's a beautiful girl, a beautiful skater, and so um, it's been a really, it's been fun for me to be able to work with her. These are our first place medals, and then over here was second place. So that's how, how heavy it is. This is actual metal. I'm not making this up. This is real, not fake. So Chicago Land Ice Theater. The reason why it means a lot to me is because this was a sense of accomplishment, and that I knew that I skated it well. I I think it's all about making a difference some way, and performing is what I enjoy the most doing. I'm not quite familiar with the whole thing, mm -hmm. but I know I, I know I have an extra chromo I know I have an extra chromosome, but I have the most girls, so it's not a problem for me. He's very good at tightening these, but when he does the ball, it all loosens up, you know. Okay, Hi. Are you? Good. There you go. Thank you. Ben started skating probably at the age of eight. He got involved through our Northern Illinois Recreation Special Association, NISRA. And uh, 
He had a little clique of friends starting, special needs, a lot with Down syndrome, autism. Um, it progressed. He would go every week to practice. Uh, then he got involved in Special Olympics. They had ice skating. They had the Winter Games that were held in Galena, Illinois. Perfect. Riding, riding through Texas, Texas, back and back. Yeah. Oh, is this part. So back, back. You're going out, out, up. We do do. Yes. From the top. Sit. Seven, eight, change again. You know me, I run these streets, talking trash like summer heat. I don't really care how you live in LC. I do me, player, please. You don't know about me, you know I run these streets. You don't know about me, you know I run these streets. Sound the board to I'm not going to sing. LA Ice Theater at LA Showcase and just I've heard about them. I've had a lot of friends on the team and this year I was like I really want to try out for the team and be around that environment. I'm Jamie Isley and I'm a, a choreographer and a figure skating coach and I was very lucky to be asked to come to Ice Theater here to help with their audition day. Um, to come in here and work with these kids on movement and joy of being out on the ice and, and dancing and skating and doing edges and things that are not so jump oriented, a wonderful thing. Uh, so I'm really excited to be able to come here and work with these great girls and guys. You're actually very entertaining. I think um, looking back at all the videos, we have a really good variety of ice dancing, fair skating, good edges, good acting, good costumes, good packaging, but just sloppy. We dot our eyes and cross our T's, we have a chance to do well. Time now, right? My hopes for being on the team is to make it to nationals or worlds because that's always been my dream with figure skating. Even though if it wasn't for single skating, I could do it with ice skater. Right here. See what goes in here. Okay. Now. Well, horseback riding. Um, so it is, a, it is a team event because there is a person mix for that also. But since I take lessons for it at Timberman's Ranch.
Yeah, I do. Okay, go take him for a walk. <laughs> walk on. What has suit me today is my grandpa. He has been through a lot also when going through that. And he has taught me how to be strong. He has taught me how to even tie my own shoes. I mean, how would a, a grandpa know to teach me that kind of stuff? He is an inspiration to me and he will always will be. Because it's going to be more headshots, I'm sure. Yes, it was six something maybe. Okay. We have 19 on Nations Cup. We're trying to get 20. And we have Shelby, who's in college right now, who's going to go to Nationals. Mm -hmm. And then we have one other girl, I think, that's going to go to Nationals. So maybe right now the most we have is 22, but right now we have 21. Right. Okay. And so we it's have 21 or 22. two guys. Contemporary. Beautiful contemporary color palette that just melts together with, with yeah. a deep, I think, a deep emotional feeling. So yeah. the program even though it's about reality and what's relevant right now with terrorism, it's mm -hmm. still, it's rising above it. And it's having each kid having their own voice. So it, in this program, they're speaking out against it. So it needs to be really hard. Some costumes that were done by Lisa McKinnon. So I start usually with this. I get a sketch of um, the costumes um, that will be coming in from Lisa. And then um, you, with theatrical makeup on the ice, you want to um, just over-exaggerate the makeup. You want to add those thick eyelashes. Um. They wanted a very abstract makeup design for the junior team. So then I start sketching them and then going through um, different um, looks with the coaches. And they, usually, they either approve it or they talk about other things that they're looking for and want to change. The next step now is that I need to go home and go into my little creative bubble and just listen to the music and take in everything that she has told me of what her vision is. And then I just sort of start thinking and kind of creating around that. And then I will start sketching and I sketch all the designs and I send them off to her and they look it through um, and we go from there. Okay, so let's run the beginning through the axles to all, go all the way to turn down and stay there. Okay, go. We were really hoping this weekend would like benefit us because our program hasn't been finished, especially our long program, and we want to finish it and like make it clean and good. It's gone still. Technically, we have two more Friday practices. Yeah, they got the aerials. And then we have a critique on Saturday. Next, next Saturday, the program yeah. so And then the Nations Cup is next, and we're flying out. And these barriers, they all come down. Because love found a way of breaking through. I dream this for you. Okay, can we do this? <laughs> Where? With the music. I don't know. Make it work. Yeah, it's fine. So, you're going to go this way. You're going to join the tail end. You guys are going to turn and actually this way, right? So, and doing single file lines is just not gelling with me. So, I think this down the back is, is just like a little... That it's it it's more juvenile looking. Though. Yeah, I didn't know how to put that. I would have not said it that. Way. If it looks great, it's awesome. But it just so can you right now just take your groups, go work, and we're gonna work on the super awkward. Yes. Okay. So if you're not in this, go work on your thing. Okay. So they're coming. I think my favorite part is building the story and creating the dream and um, each step and each process you go through creating the story and the costumes and working on choreography with the kids and pulling it together and working like 10 billion hours to hit what we feel is perfection. 
but it's like you, you can like look at them and you're like instantly transported into this other world. I think that's my favorite part. I'm just working with the kids like they've found this like new way to use their skating almost like blossom like as like a person you know not just a skater. All week, like my knee's been like really killing me. It looks kind of swollen. It does. Where, where does it hurt? Like right here, more like in the lower knee, kind of. Oh my god. But then since I've been practicing a lot, like today, like it gradually started getting a lot worse. And I was going up the stairs and I like twisted it the wrong way, and I like, kind of walked with for that. a few minutes. See if that helps. Okay. Be sensitive for a moment as they're looking and then slowly backing up and then they should take off. So I did three different emotions okay. on that scene. Okay. I did not get to your ending. ending. I did three hours of yelling. Because I just wanted them in a line. I didn't understand yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. I didn't understand. I'm good. I wish I could have like 20 million hours. So We're fabulous. <laughs> Go LAIT. It's 6.30. And we're on the way where? To the rink. Which we're on the way to Paramount, Iceland. Um, I never thought I'd be driving two hours, two and a half hours to take my kids skating, that's for sure. If you would have told me this 18 years ago, I would have said, no, I'm not going to drive someone to skate. No, thank you. Uh, the love of it. She loves theater. Um, it's, it's like a family, too. I mean, we've spent so much time and with the other skaters and their families and um, the coaches and um, it's such a part of our life, the travel. Um, and she loves it so much and we've come to love everyone involved in skating that um, it's just such an awesome opportunity to have. And how long is the drive? Uh, two hours. It's raining today too. Yes. Huh. How do you feel about that? Not my favorite after the accident. I don't like driving in the rain, so. It was raining and it was raining pretty hard. It was getting to the point where you couldn't really see in front of you. And there there wasn't really cars like, like by us. Um, and then when she hit us, cause then we got pushed into another car and then we were hit again by the same driver because she kind of swung back and hit us with her car spinning. Like I was, I was crying a lot because I was like really confused with what was happening. It was pouring. My mom was scared. We just, it was intense. Um, stressful. It's very stressful. It's trying to keep us safe and not get into another car accident. And just be aware of everybody else around us. We got news that the largest storm within seven years of California is tonight. So instead of driving back down to San Diego, we'll probably stay up here. Um, I have a pain that starts in my lower back and radiates down my leg. So if I'm sitting for more than two and a half hours, it gets pretty bad. Uh, the pain in my neck is pretty bad. Sometimes it locks up and I can't turn to the right. After the accident, the competitions for me were over, so artistic skating was such a great outlet to do because 
It doesn't matter. There's no like point scoring. You don't have to do any like certain jumps or certain spins. No certain elements. It's all what you want to do and you can be free to be who you want to be on the ice. So I want for you guys to count out loud, not screaming at each other, just count out loud the beginning uh, crossover section and right. let's count out loud this ending section. Yeah? We can pick it up on the stroke. Stroke? Yeah. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and. Like so, that could be, I wasn't there on that practice, so that's what, who was there on that long practice? Did you do three or two? Three, 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 and then stopped. Okay, so let's do arms on the two going back, on two going forward, arms down on that third one. So, so it's going to be consistent enough that we are all getting to the same spot. Do you think on the wall three that they should pair up? They'll probably come around the corner, but they could probably pair up again. I think so. Yeah. Spins were weird. So I had an accident in 2010 in Cabo San Lucas, and we always ride ATVs. We ended up turning on a like a fast corner and it flipped on my side and I was stuck under there for like a good, I'd say, 20 minutes. I, I didn't look at my foot until like three months after the accident. I didn't know what happened to my foot or anything. I was just kind of going with it. And I, at first I thought my whole leg was off when the accident happened. So this one is like the day I got into UCLA hospital when all the doctors were looking at my foot. This was when it actually happened. This was in Mexico at the hospital. And then this was the first time that they took the gangrene off. So I still went in the hyperbaric chamber after that to try to heal that. I can't walk on my heel all the time. It hurts, it, it actually hurts when I walk. It doesn't hurt when I skate, which is so odd. It doesn't hurt one bit when I skate. After my accident, I went back about a year. When I got back on the ice, I, was, I wasn't fully healed, but I wanted to get on the ice so bad. I, I just didn't have, I had the love for skating, but not the love for competing anymore. I feel like I have more power, I feel like I'm more dedicated, I guess, and I appreciate what I have because of this accident, so I, I really have no regrets of it, which sounds really weird. You're a lot right here. I mean, no. But it's, you have to have the whole, like, this is like a one entity, it's, you know? So, so you need all the colors beautiful. to make it look like this. And she's trying on that fan right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's an awkward moment. Yeah. I think I did this right. Yeah, can I look? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so let me know. This is so beautiful. How's it, How it feel? It feels fine. Yeah. Is it tight? On the straps and stuff? Yeah. But like a good tight really or a bad tight? tight? Yeah. Yeah, because it has to like keep it tight, but just so it's not uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. So we have to make sure that's right at the wrist. Yeah. By doing theater on ice uh, costumes, I feel like I can give back a little bit as well from my own experiences. And I wish that when I grew up, that there was something like this for me. So I've I, it's close to my heart. Yeah, I mean, 
No, I just airbrushed it, but like they're all di- some of them have just one. <laughs> <laughs> I um I remember I was just watching the the news for the school like every morning. Mm-hmm. And I kept thinking they don't have a segment for weather. So I remember I just said, "Can I do the weather for them?" And um, my teacher said yes, and she asked the principal and she and she okay the two, and then the next day they made my poster up and then I was coming I walk in um and then also over here. They gave me this, my own scrapbook. Wow. WRFB team, the WRFB team, and then my last weather cast I did for them is in here also. My last Friday forecast. After they gave me this that same day, I was so sick. Um, but they come in anyways and said, "You need to be here." They gave me these two things, the book and my weather jacket, and then um, I, I just stood there. And I think I was on the verge of crying because they were so kind to me and gave me these two things, but yeah. Ben is going to probably take some classes at MCC because he likes weather. You know, he may not get a degree, a college degree, but, you know, our, everyone's biggest concern is he doesn't have brothers or sisters. Where is he going to go when I'm not here? No, it's really scary. So as I always, I've told you, I said, I want to live one day longer than you. It'll be the worst day of my life, but then I know you're safe. That's just it. Uh, we're doing a run through for the makeup, so on competition day, we're not completely panicked. <laughs> Do you want to use your foundation? <laughs> this team is, is uh, comprised of the uh, most fine women. <laughs> um, the judges are basically going to tell us like overall how we uh, match up to the competition because they've like, seen other... Um, teams so far and just little things that we can change. Um, you were really, really sloppy in the choreography with the counters and all that, so it looked bad on top of not fitting, which is okay because I told them we haven't worked on it. Okay, but that's okay. All right, let's start from the beginning. Let's just play the music, okay? Which side do we have to watch? This is the front yeah. here. Because we're always so early. I would say, in general, my recommendation has been hit it right away. Right. Make sure, because, you know, you might follow a program where not like that nation's cup, maybe it's a national competition where they don't have it at all. At the very beginning, it was kind of soft and whatnot, but some people had like an intense look to them. I'm like, am I supposed to feel intense or am I supposed to feel like this is a pretty flowing thing? And so I was getting mixed signals from your skaters. I'm like, where am I? Am I in this? Am I like, ooh? Yeah, are we like, I think that we, some people aren't quite. We've been talking about females more, be more. I'm so glad I could changes our whole perspective of what I was looking at, because I know in my heart what I wanted. But I wasn't even thinking the program and the theme and the ideas and the emotions behind it and the patterns and whether we need to do diamonds or circles or squares and levels. And I can tell, you know, that Together. And I love the characters. Okay, so more. You don't more. mind that, like, does it work? Everything? Yeah, it, it, has to be, it has to be working. You're creating alternate work. So create it. So we're going to be more. Yeah. Guys, so, sorry. They absolutely love the short. Stop. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. <laughs> need to work on certain points, but a whole different program. 
I think the little extra funny, they want our facial expressions, even choreographed throughout it. And we still need to make sure nothing is soft. You're going to hate this. Can you go look at each other? Can you go into the middle? They wanted no connection. They wanted no like, tease, here I am. They wanted you to, to connect to each other. So can you do it the opposite way and connect into the circle? So do, will you, everyone remember? You just, just into the circle. And if you do it wrong, it's okay. So theater is acting and always acting towards the audience. Um, and on ice, it's pretty much just getting on ice. Um, I would say it's like both, acting and skating at the same time is what you're doing. Um, I know my son loves musicals. He always has from day one. And um, in, in, in giving them the experience to perform in front of people, that's pretty hard for a lot of people to to, to stand up and perform in front of people. and uh, But he has dreams and expectations, and I'm not saying, no, he can't do it. And I know he's not going to be president of the United States, but you want, you want them to have their dreams fulfilled. And it's just lovely having people that accept them for how they are. He got involved through Special Olympics. They had to qualify and do certain things to compete. And two years ago, Special Olympics took figure skating and speed skating out of the Illinois region. I don't have a comment on that. Oh, you don't? And okay. I, I, don't think I, I don't think I ever will because okay. it's passed. And yeah. I don't want to keep um, saying it um, 100 times. So that was devastating. But their coach got them involved in Theater on Ice. So I have nothing to say but high positive things with Theater on Ice. It's just amazing. I didn't know anything existed like that. Yeah, yeah, same thing. I, I think that, like, even parents, they, they see their kid, like, going into skating, and there's not much, like, after, you know, if you do aim for the Olympics and that's all you go for, then, like, there's not much, if you don't get there, there's not much else for you, or, like, people don't see that. But I think, like, especially with Theater on Ice, that there is something else you can do, and it's more, you know, not necessarily, it doesn't have to be just recreational. I feel like now it's, like, so competitive and still fun and, just like another creative aspect of skating that you can tie into. My name is Paige Scott. We're with San Francisco Ice Theater. I am from College Station, Texas. I'm a mentor for the Chicagoland Ice Theater Inspiration. Uh, I'm from the rink Spice Coast Ice Flex Figure Skating Club in Rockledge, Florida. And I'm with Creative Ice Theater based in Chicago and my role is as coach. Oh, okay. He's an elf. Yeah. How do you feel today? Calmer, not as sick. Um, I want for this to be like the most productive day ever. Okay, so I would 100% appreciate the no talking unless it pertains to working on the program. Okay, so take a short little nap if you want to, otherwise just chill. I think, I think one of the coolest feelings or, or moments in coaching a team or being on a team is the first run through of the program in practice where like, oh, well, this could go somewhere. I'm so excited. I'm starting to feel like I'm completely ready. Listen, it's Tuesday. 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 Listen, it's two o'clock now. We're scheduled to go on the ice at 225, but I want the spinners and the rollers to boot up now. The rest can be on the ice at 225. From Heartland, Michigan, Harmony Theater Company. My favorites of the entire team is that Everybody leans on you and you lean on everybody else too. I've made a lot of friends and they are like my sisters. You don't really realize the relationship you have with them when you're younger because you're competing with them. But then later in life, then you really realize like who you grew up with and who your true family is and it's just amazing. I think future's, that the future is bright. Yeah. I think this program is just going to keep continuing to grow and grow and grow. And this year we have over 1,300 skaters from when I first came, it was probably a quarter of that. My last would probably be to um, make sure you stretch before you skate. That's the best, that's the best advice I can give is just to stretch and um, 
it's dehydrated. Let me let me two ingredients. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Los Angeles Ice Theater. Did you say you've reached the end? Given everything you've got. There's no more of you to bend And you'll break if you don't stop Oh, I don't believe you for a minute You're still in it, so get back up This is your moment, it's just begun So go get I think with the kids, I can feel when you implant a dream inside of them, it just blossoms and someone just has to believe and I believe in them and what's special in them. I feel like when I was skating as a single skater, you kind of have to deal with a lot of things on your own. And I feel like having such a supportive team really helps. So it's fun that we're able to all come together and um, have a good time. If it's anything that you see in life that you want to do, try it. Because somebody else didn't take that away from you. And now the scores for the Los Angeles Ice Theater. Their technique of performance.